Well folks, welcome back to my channel. I have a lot of things to unpack. Some things are just for sale, so I won't show those, but other things are for myself, which I'm going to show you right now. So I unpacked the first big package and here I am with a um, middle-sized package and some smaller ones. I can already tell you that uh, the big package contains in theory some older magazines or some special magazines for older anime. The smaller packages should in theory contain can patches of Uruziatra I think and those packages here they are cells. I'm going to start to open first the smaller packages, the light ones. I don't know about you but I'm watching the new Uruziatra television series and I like it so far. I just don't think that it's as good as the original for various reasons which I'm not going to in here but still I really like the design and that compels me to buy something completely unrelated to Uruse <laughs> Um This is a small acryl stand of uh, Yofukashino Uta no, sorry, these are not acryl stands. These are actually uh, some bookmarks. Yeah, they look good actually. I could really see myself using those when I'm reading manga. So, I wonder if this time is it a can batch or something else? Ah. Uh, this time it's a can badge. So as I said before, I'm not quite convinced of the new TV series yet, but I must admit the design of the characters look amazing, especially Lum, she looks gorgeous. And here you go. It has this holograph effect here. I don't know if it, the camera picks it up, I hope so. What is it this time? Uh, probably some can badge or something. Nakani haite imas, arigatou gozaimashita. It's inside. Thank you very much. Well, I wouldn't have guessed it at all. What is that? Oh, okay. These are small magnets, Rusi Atsura magnets from the new show. First one and the second one. So this is Lum in her school uniform outfit and her usual outfit. These are right, quite cute. I like those. And what is it this time? Again, a cam batch of Uruse Atsura. I told you I have things from the new show. This cam batch looks gorgeous. It's an acrylic keychain from Uruse Atsura. What could be in here? This is a guidebook, an original guidebook from uh, Angel's Egg and um, this is really old. This came out in the 1980s, so when the movie came out. For those who don't know what Angel's Egg is, this was an original anime, uh, a small theatrical movie, or was it an OAV? Directed by Mamoru Oshii, who is famous for Uruse Yatsura, Ghost in the Shell especially. Pat Labor, and this was his uh, first anime after Uruse Atsura. It's one of the big masterpieces of the 1980s, I think. As you can see, it contains interviews, it contains a little bit of production art. Again, smaller parcel, what could it be this time? And we are back again to things from Uruse Atsura from the new show. This is a set of two can badges from uh, the new show with Lum on it. An acrylic keychain of uh, Call of the Night, Nazuna from Call of the Night. 
I like the manga Call of the Night. I have it uh, in Japanese, but I'm not up to date. I like the anime. I watched all 12 episodes. Nazuna is a really fun character. Let's continue with this parcel here. Oh, this looks really good. Oh. It has the smell of, you know, of the mandarake. If you have ever been to Japan and you went into mandarake, you know exactly what I mean. First up, we have a small special art book of Inomata Mutsumi. She is a character designer. She worked on many different anime. What else can I show you here? This is a special magazine for the OAV of Minky Momo La Ronde in My Dream. It contains pictures of garage kits from back then, which I didn't expect. It contains designs, first drafts designs. Minky Momo herself. Sean and Sandy graphic special magazine for the show called Gugu Ganmo, which was popular in Italy and Spain, I think. This is a show from 1985. It is based on a popular manga from back then, has a lot of illustrations from the original manga artist, but you also get stickers here. Excerpts from the manga. This is only for people who really, really love the series or who really like old merchandise like I do. You get the opening here, you get some illustrations from readers, young readers, so this is fan art basically. For some reasons you have a double page full of sneakers, a double page of uh, coffee cans, a shonen Sunday graphic special of Uruse Yatsura with Lum on the cover. That was the main reason why I wanted this one. Showa 63 is I think... 1988 or 89. So this came out when the fifth movie was released. That was 1988. Pictures taken straight out of the movie. You get artwork from Maison, Ikaku, and Laughing Target. This is the official uh, poster artwork of the fifth movie. That's Rumiko Takashi. I got a special anime book of Tongari Boshi Memoru. This is a children's show from the 1980s. It has a really catchy, really cute opening with excellent animation. Some stickers, but also a poster. I have three more books. They all are about manga and artwork of Azuma Hideo. He was a cult mangaka. He was really famous for um, science fiction gag manga, but he was also in, on the forefront of the Lolicon movement, so the Lolita complex characters. He was influenced by Osamu Tezuka, you can tell by his artwork. If you have seen the short animation from Daikon 3, this was very influenced by him because the character designs are straight from him. No, they're not from him, but they are imitated like it would be from him. It is called Azuma Hideo Magical Land no Ojo Tachi. Like I told you, he is very influenced by Osamu Tetsuka, Castle of Cagliostro, this loop man.
Azuma Hideo Iras to Shu Mia chan Rav World. This was a manga which he published in the mid 1980s. You get illustrations which I unfortunately cannot show, but this is still okay ish. And lastly, I have Nanako My Love Iras to Book. Finally, I got some new cells. First, this one here. I'm always a bit afraid to open those packages with a cutter because <laughs> I might scratch the cell. Here we are. What cell is that? Ho ho! Uruse Yatsura, Ataru, and Lum. And this is from uh, one of the earlier TV episodes. This is from episode 2022, around, somewhere around there. Uh, this is an episode where Ataru is sleeping in class and he has some dreams. That's a nice cell. There's just a small, small doga piece. Oh, that's a whole stack. What is it this time? Okay, these are cells from the Kabocha wine, 1980s rom-com, popular in France and especially in Italy, based on a manga by Mitsuru Miura, a layout sheet, and it's also a layout sheet actually. Eruchan from the Kabocha wine, the main heroine, this is a whole sequence. They are stuck. The character designs, it's a quite interesting. The eyes look a bit like crossed a bit. It's not a mistake. They perfectly imitate the original manga and you get used to it. This looks really nice. The first cell, it's him, but it's stuck so I cannot open it more. That's a shame, it's stuck in the background. But look at the details here. And here the same, I guess. It's probably stuck to the background. Is it? Yeah, it's stuck, so I rather prefer not to damage the background. But I have an original background from one of my favorite 1980s show when I was a kid. Again, Erchan. <laughs> That's really interesting. <laughs> Look at this, the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. I talked about that on Twitter and I got a like from Miura Mitsuru himself. A quite similar one. Okay, it looks almost the same, but it's not. It's not quite the same. You see here, the, she has different clothes on. I got all of those for a really good price. That's cool. And this is a nice little gimmick here. <laughs> Totally forgot what it is about. Huh. Well, I was wrong. It's not a cell. It's also not a vinyl. It's also not a laser disc. But it's a calendar of Romic Worlds. Rumik World are the shorter stories by Rumiko Takahashi. This is Fire Tripper, a precursor of Inuyasha if you want. And this is, I think, Dustbin something. Uh, this is... What is that? Oh, that's a shame. That's the Obi. Someone secured the Obi. These are cards. First we have an artwork of Fire Tripper. Then this is called Dust Part, one of her earliest manga. Again Dust Part. Um, Senkoku Se Tokai, I think. Wasure Te Nemure. I don't know this one at all. 
Oh, that's Maris the Chojo, which got a really fun and great uh, OVA, original video animation. And this is again Fire Tripper. This is Laughing Target, which also got a good, really spooky OVA. And this is again Dust Pato. Again Dust Pato. Maris the Chojo. So these are all illustrations by Rumiko Takahashi. Is there something else in here? So this is taken directly from the anime Fat Tripper. It's just an illustration which looks like a vinyl. And this is it for today's video. I have one question for you. What kind of anime merchandise do you actually buy? Do you buy, for example, these kind of can patches or magnets or even something like a small bookmark or do you actually prefer really retro stuff for example these kind of old magazines or maybe this kind of manga magazines let me know in the comments down below i'm really curious thank you for watching until the end and see you next time goodbye